Building a paddleboard is really easy, but they're not all the same. So you want to think about the type of paddling that you want to do. There's boards for just about every activity, starting with an all-around type board, which is excellent for family recreation. Next, there's a surf style board. They're usually a little bit shorter and very maneuverable, so you can carve in those ocean waves. There's also a touring style board, which is great if you want to go long distances and explore all different types of coastlines. Next, there's a board for yoga, where the deck pad extends the entire length of the board so that you don't slip when you're doing the yoga postures. There's boards for fishing, which are a nice stable platform for catching fish. And there's a fantastic class of boards for racing and elite fitness. And those tend to be longer, narrower, and they track very fast, they're made very light, and they go very quick. When you're shopping for a board, one of the first things you want to take into consideration is your own personal size and weight and the size and weights of the people that are going to be using the board. Many boards are listed with a weight capacity to tell you exactly how heavy a person the board can carry. The width of your board is definitely going to make a big difference. The wider the board, the more stable it will be. But generally, the narrower the board, the quicker it is. Inflatable boards are great. They come in all different sizes and all different classes. The nice thing about inflatables is that for people who live in apartments or have small cars, they're really easy to store and to transport. They come in all different sizes and categories, so you can get something no matter if you want to race or you just want some family recreation. They're also very durable, so you can knock into things without causing the same kind of damage that you might on a hardboard. The sport of paddleboarding is really addicting, and once you get into it, you may find you might want a board for surfing one day, you might want a board for touring the next, you might even want to get into racing. So many people who get into this sport have several different boards in their collection. So don't limit yourself to just one.